Bam. All right. Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Just gonna. Check. It's like a song. Check something. Are we live? Are we live? I believe we are live. Meantime, let's move over here. Move you all over here as well. All right. Yep, we're currently live. Yippee! Yippee! Wahoo! Yeah. Soup. I the All right. All right. So, uh, hello, everybody. I my name read is false gold as false god in that way. What? Yeah. Hold what? I didn't. The, the title. I misread it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, did I fucking misread it? No, no, I did not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> False no, you God. did. You did good. All right, so you did what you were supposed to. All right, now. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Sean Star, and welcome back to Keltska Land of Magic. Woo! Yep. Jesus Christ, you might be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, can everyone, roll me a d20, except for you, Fairweather. You haven't been here in two sessions. So everyone else, roll me right. a d20. Uh, this means. All right. Oh. Uh oh. Five. Retro. Are enough strong, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah. worse. Uh oh. <laughs> Loser. That's not... You should. That's. All right. And uh, what did you Hold get? Up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. It's off to you, bro. Oh gosh. This is a <laughs> great start. Oh. So... Session recap, right? Yep. In our last session, to my memory, which is not the best, we had arrived to the new town, the country, it's town. Uh, we had looked around, discovered that some people have been going missing alongside the missing ships that we had come for. Uh, we met up with the mayor of the town, found out that they're also a sailor of their own. And we have plans to potentially combat these pirates, quotation mark. I'm not really sure what they are. We're not sure yet. But uh, we have to first go talk to the Lord of the Land to see if he would let us take his ship. Great job, great job. I'm going to say you get one point of inspiration that you can use. Basically, you can add, a, I'm going to say, a d8 to any of your rolls. Only one time, though. Um, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, now we're gonna head over to the ship where we last left off. Alright. You guys can bring over your characters if you so if you so wish. Now the ship is still currently docked and is currently waiting to be well uh, currently waiting to set sail. Now uh, what are you guys doing in the meantime? Or I'm getting seasick. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Noah's currently getting seasick. Uh, I presume... Wait, hold up, Sean. Sean. Yeah. Question. Yeah. The question. At oh. The beginning of session. Yes. Every. All right. So. Sam has uh, told me that I should start the session by asking a uh, uh, personal question about your character. Alrighty then. So, does your character think they're attractive? You said that one. That was last time. Wait, they did? Yeah. It was never on stream, though. We that was off stream. at the end of the session. Oh, okay. My bad. Um, I must have not remembered it. Okay. Shit. So, <laughs> uh, alright. So, Sean, don't believe when you're being gaslit. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. You're not. Of course you Noah, you weren't here last side. time. Noah, you weren't here last time. When would I ever gaslight <laughs> you? I would never. Uh, Not in a hundred million years. Mm. I don't remember if it was on stream, but I but do I'm... remember you asking the question. Alright, alright, mm. alright, alright, alright. <laughs> so how about... Oh, shit. Fuck. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> there we go. So, how about... uh? Does is your character stingy with money? 
No. I Not at all. <laughs> huh? Did you say well? I have money? <laughs> yes, I'm up! <laughs> I'm no longer uh, broke! <sighs> not in the slightest. I'm no longer in debt! My clown. Ray is uh, not all too stingy, but he's more than likely pickpocketing someone right after buying something. Fairweather has the financial management of a 12 year old. Um, she will spend money on just like whatever she sees that's interesting to her. Um, hey, and so then... you, should... <laughs> you should give me all your money. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <sighs> magnificent, truly magnificent. All right, um, now, Noah. Like, as you are, I'm assuming, like, over the side of the boat, just currently trying to do your best to try to get a hold of yourself, you can see this small figure getting bigger and bigger that seems to be coming from the sky. Oh, I was completely worried if it was coming from the ocean. I thought maybe it'd be a kraken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Not yet. So do huh? planes exist, or...? Huh? Do what exist? He says a small figure coming from the sky, getting bigger. Do planes yeah. exist? Uh, no. Or at least not to your knowledge. Hmm. Um, as the as the object gets bigger and bigger, you can see that it is. It's the biggest bird. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Fair weather. Am the biggest bird. <laughs> um. After, like, a few days of, like, traveling, you finally see a fairly large ship slightly busted up, and, like, the sails are being currently mended along with some of the planks being replaced, and you can actually see Noah, strange as it may be, deadly sick, deadly sick, like, like, green-faced. Am I gonna die from, like, water no. poisoning? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> water poisoning? <laughs> The air poisoning. Make, make oh, make water I'll, I'll air I'll poisoning do. exist. Thank you. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! All right. Noah, why? <laughs> Noah, thank you. Alright. Uh, but you see everyone get ready, and you can see, strangely enough, cannons made of candy. As... Uh, as you can see that Rudy has been hurriedly working on a bunch of different weapons for this, for this vessel. Alright. Um. So, am I just arriving on this ship? You're, yeah, you're still, you're flying down from the sky. No one has, seems to notice you except for... Noah, but Noah is, is a bit too sick to do He's, anything. Uh, indisposed. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, right, what was that? Right. Oh, I was just saying, um, you're currently trying to hold in your lunch. Just like in real life. Yeah. And dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm suffering, Sean. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, alright, I'm going to fly down on this, uh, candy-armed boat. Um, and, uh, just start saying, hi, hi, hey, everyone, what's going on? I'm back. You see, I'm back. You see a bunch of sailors take out, like, ship building equipment, like saws, hammers, and just point them all at you. Oh. Who the fuck are you? Can I, uh, uh, can um, I just uh, raise my hand to try and stop them? Oh, yeah, you can do that. It's, it's fine. They're with us. Yeah. It's good to see you, Fairweather. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's good to see you again, too. I do not remember your name, but that's all right. It's Ray. I am very much hurt over that. <laughs> cool. You hurt his feelings. How dare you? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I kind of was busy for um an uh, amount of time. I'm going to turn you into a human mob. <laughs> Jesus. All right, all right. then. <laughs> 
Um, so, what are we up to? We're on boats now? That, that's the new thing? Boats? I already saw. Mm -hmm. Groovy. <sighs> if you all are done lollygagling... Lollygagling? Yes, thank you, Altair. Could you all please... <laughs> Get back to work. We have to prepare I did not the say lollygagging, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I said dolly lagging. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so and... instead of working, can my familiar do it? Oh yeah, your familiar can work. Uh, can work. From your shadow, your familiar arises and helps, like, work on some stuff. Uh, due to the fact that your familiar can technically fly, it's... Fairly useful uh, when it comes to repairing. Uh, being able to repair the side of the ship, mainly the side that you're currently on. Still very useful. And uh, what are the rest of you doing? Hmm? Um. Uh, is there anyone who would uh? Who I'm gonna just gonna start talking to um Ray and ask like, hey. What what's going on? How are we doing? All right. So uh, currently we we are preparing for potential sea combat. Uh, Fighting. These guys had just come back from having this ship almost stolen. They were on death store into our great chef over here. Rudy had fixed them up an apple pie that healed them. Magic's quite a strange but magnificent one. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, we are patching up the ship and getting ready to sail. Hopefully not having to combat them immediately, because we do have to ask if we can actually use the ship for combat to begin with. Uh, what are they going right. to do? Stop us? Potentially get us uh, in severe legal issues, yes. <laughs> okay. Just get rid of them. No more legal My issues. pockets are not deep enough for this. Alright, is there anything I could do Your to help out? see anything can happen. No, no on the bodies. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and on that note... Oh, I... Yes. Christ. Oh. On that note, what? Uh, what can I do to help out? Uh, you can see that a bunch of people are still fairly injured from the battle. Um, you can also see that, uh, they are currently trying to get the sails, um, like, fixed and mended, along with, you know, just trying to fix just a bunch of different stuff, replacing some of the rope that's been cut, um, but it doesn't seem there's a lot for you to do, uh, not really at all. Uh, do you think some, uh, like a healing spell would be useful? Yeah, you could probably go over to the injured tents, which are close by. Cool, I'll go over there. Which, if we go here... Yeah. Just around this area here. You walk ah. over to see a bunch, of, right. a, a bunch of injured men. Uh, a bunch of the, a few of them have actually already had their wounds mended together. But not all of them, sadly. Not all of them. So, how do you help? Um, I'm going to cast, a uh, Golden Pollen. Ah! You create a small flower in the palm of your hand that pollen, a pollen slowly flies out of and lands, uh, lands in a small radius, mending the people's injuries and wounds. Uh, almost... Uh, and how much of the heal again? Is it 2d4? Or 1d4? Yeah, 2d4. 2d4. Uh, 1d4 if it's someone passing through, but yeah, 2d4 if they're just in the radius. Alright. So, that's 2d... Yeah, that's 2d4, that's 5. That pretty much mends everyone's wounds back to normal. A few people are still unconscious. Nice. Probably due to the shock, but a, a lot of people are back up to fighting shape. Nice! What the fuck did I wake up to? 
Is that chicken? No! <laughs> it's a talking chicken. What the fuck? Okay. Um, you're delirious. I'm not a talking chicken. I'm Fairweather. Um, and I just got here, so really, I'm a little confused as to what's going on yourself, my, myself, but, uh, you're healed now. You're not gonna die. Woo! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, bird lady. Thank no you, problem. Bird lady. I would not take that personally. <laughs> Getting called a bird lady. Oh, time to gaslight everyone. <laughs> time, to, time to remove the healing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I. Oh, you healed everyone else. That's fantastic. I presume you're here to help? Uh, yeah. Sure. Good luck with that. Good luck. <sighs> Why do you say it like that? Um, uh, You're flying uh, against a pirate- uh, presumably a pirate ship. No cannons at all. With, uh, how many witches? How many? Uh, a few, a few. I'm one. Yeah, a few witches. And and I think we we've got cannons. I saw like cannons made of, well, they were made of candy, but uh, they probably they probably could you know do some damage. I'm sorry. Oh wait, am I done making the oh, cannons? Yes, the cans are done. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I am. So I b I believe in the cannons. I yeah. doubt that the cannons will do jack diddly shit. Okay. But oh, it's your it watery grave, not mine. Would a demonstration ease your worries? <laughs> sure. Wonderful. Alright, I'll show you all the, all the cannon fire spawns inside of the cannon barrel, so there's no need of supplying ammunition. You go over here, aim, fire, and it shoots a hot, steaming ball of chocolate and malt. It I appears like the most metal. Alright, can you roll the damage, please? Roll damage. Why, certainly. I'll use one of the big cannons just to show him. I will show you, mister. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 13. You see it, it fires out and lands, creating a large... ...sound effect. Uh, blowing up a... Uh, a decently sized rock. Now we have augmented it on our ammunition as well. That's that so. I'm going to have to save for later. Alright. I think that's convinced me. Oh, my body's still sore. But I think I'm going to trust you guys' decision. Alright. You just take it easy. We'll take things from here. It's our ship. It's not the kind and of man who would lie on his ass while other people do the work. Maybe your ship is our life. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking something and then it didn't. The thought didn't create in my head. Yeah. Alright. You hear a voice call in the distance. All right, lads, it's time to go. Everyone, get on board. As you hear Miss Alay scream at the top of her lungs. All right, it's time to head off. To the lawyer. Oh, to the Lord's house. To the lawyer. Lords. Oh. Yeah, the lawyer's house.
the sails unfurl and the ship <laughs> begins to sail off, carrying all of you with it. For some of you, it's actually the, it is actually the first time you've ever, ever been on a boat, or especially one this big. For some, has anyone actually been on a boat? Boats are awful. I hate I, boats. Yeah, I I doubt you've actually been on a boat, and I'm assuming that you are still stuck at the side, dreading every moment of this. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, I don't know, have anyone has anyone been on a boat? I have. No. The floor is moving. In real, I, are, are I, we talking I about like? In boat. character or like in no, real no, life? No, 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 out of character. In real life, I've been on boats. I've been on mostly sailboats, though. Boats are. In real life, I've like been it. on some. Like in real it. life, I've been on some boats. I like. Am I the only one boat. who hasn't been on a boat? Yes. Loser. I don't like boats. I, I don't like planes. I <laughs> anything that isn't a car, I'm not fine with. I know a paddle oh, boat, a car, or a horse. You've been <laughs> on a horse? What the? Fuck? I've been on a horse. I haven't. You been say on that a like a sweet. It's horse. not very weird to have been uh, on a horse. Sean, my uh, my Dude, uncle's a horse. Not ridden a horse? <laughs> I thought oh, you meant to be a cowboy. I've never. I've ne listen, listen. You've we never had... ridden a horse. <laughs> no, oh, I fuck, never got the chance. A cowboy. Sean, if you come back horse. out here, I will like give you my uncle's address. He has like a copious amount of horses. A copious amount of horses. <laughs> Damn, bro, yes, you can make horse. all the glue you want. No! <laughs> I love horses! <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Alright. I've yes. always wanted to be a jockey, but I'm too tall for it. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Alright, so, as you know, some, as you know, you currently are all on a boat sailing off to the Lord's Estate. You can see <laughs> this... You can see the woman... Uh, at the, I guess the helm is what I should say. Steering the boat with a very stern, almost angry look on her face. As you can see that everyone else is doing the, is um, currently putting in all the work they need to help get this ship moving and get it to the place that they need to go. Is there anything that you will be doing during this time? Is there anyone who's uh free? Not like busy busy? Uh I'm gonna say okay. a majority of you guys, because most of you guys don't know how to sail. I'm not I'm doing not anything. Like the, uh, what do you need? Uh I'm uh, not doing either. I was gonna see if I can train some of the uh less combat oriented people, because knowing them they're probably gonna be on the ship still. I help them where I can, so we do have a bit more of a fighting chance. Mm. I'm going to make some food for the crew. In that case, I'm assuming you're going to go downstairs. Yep, I'm going to stay in my kitchen. Thanks, Rudy, we love you. I'll, actually, I'll probably be in the kitchen as well, then. Yeah, I believe it's oh. this... No, nope, it's not this layer, it's the other one. My bad. That's the first Yep. I'm on the wrong layer. I need to be down there. Where is the kitchen on this map? Scroll Not on the down. one with the bloody table. I want to go to the kitchen. Not yeah. to be of any use, I'm just hungry. You want to eat the food? I want to eat everything. You oh, want to try oh. and eat everything? Oh, I'm going to take the axe and come after you. <laughs> <laughs> Get I, the fuck out of my kitchen. Am I, like... Morally fine. Are you morally <laughs> fine to eat the food? Yeah. Eat the people too. No, no, no. no. Eat, eat the people. people. What people? the fuck? <laughs> I thought it was my job to be the edgy one. Technically, I'm not human. I'm a lot of so, people. People. I'm not the edgy one. I can't one. I'm the threatening one. No, I'm, I'm gonna. No, I, I was meant to be the edgy one. Don't worry, you are. I'm not cannibalizing people. Okay, cannibalism doesn't have to be edgy. <laughs> also, te technically, it's a way of life. I'm not human, it's <laughs> not cannibalism. <laughs> I mean, I he's not wrong. Yes, yeah. Cultural uh, difference, man. <laughs> cultural difference. 
It's a it's a refined flavor. Oh, he has a very refined palate. Mm. What's so refined about it? Am I, is is I there know. a certain taste am I acquiring of human that you want? He's like, hmm, that one appears gamey. I'm not going to take a bite of it. <laughs> Alright, uh, what exactly are you preparing, William? I'm, I'm preparing bangers and mash, so like sausage and potatoes. Nice. Uh, are you preparing anything specifically else here? Um. Hmm. I think maybe bread. I don't know. All right, you're going to you're going to bake bread. Yep. Oh my gosh, he's gonna start a bakery. I'm gonna I'm bake bread the, to, sorry. I guess, go with the, the bangers. Like, I, I don't know. know. I, bake I don't know. I'm a victim of the bandwagon fallacy, so I'm coming down to join everybody to monologue while I do nothing. Yeah. Wait, Oma, you said you're Oma, you're gonna make some fouls? That's Oma, Damn. fouls is an Irish bread. Oh, I thought you said fowl. I was thinking of birds. <laughs> British cuisine, yeah. a man Oma, after my oh, own make, heart. Help me make some post. <laughs> on, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. I have no heart. Right, do I need to make a roll paper. for cooking? Yes, yes you do. Uh, I believe you have a roll for cooking utensils, right? Yeah, let me go and roll for that. Uh, it's dexterity plus your proficiency bonus. Do you want me to roll what? as well? Dexterity? I'm, 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 on. I would say intelligence. All right. On, yeah. Can I argue for intelligence? You can argue. For I think it should be the option of either. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, it's either one you want. Should I also roll for cooking? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Nice. A 20. <laughs> sick. Uh, Fucking plus six. Yeah. Let's just say I didn't get a 20. It's a five. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's not cooking. You never really learned how to make bread, and with a combination of the ship rocking and this new form, and with this very different uh, kitchen... You kind like, of It'll be fine. lumps of coal that could be used as a used as fuel or as a as a paper waste, hey. but not as. I a was like, but I was that like, is a feat. Fine. At least you get something. And it out wasn't of it. fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was I looking for coals for me. Oh, for me, sausages. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no problem. No problem. problem. <laughs> I'll give you twenty shekels. Uh, <laughs> exactly what I was planning on making. Oh fucking hell! But, oh, huh. oh, you made this. I rolled an eighteen oh, for my de uh, for my deception, by the way. Eighteen oh, oh, plus two, so rolling. Wow. Christ, you guys believe that that was my intention the whole time to make coal lovely. Yep, make coal. <laughs> Thank you very much for retrieving me coal. Oh, how lovely. Huh? Oh, blimey. But with the comp with the coal that you got from <laughs> Altair, you make up some killer bangers mashing, quite a good chunk of it, being able to ho being able to feed about 20 men. Oh, sick. Wait, how many men are here? Um, I don't have all, all the tokens for everybody, so there's about 26, not including you guys. Christ. That's some people That's just a lot of people. people. What about the six that didn't get to eat? I give them fish. Yeah. We do have the rations. Yeah. I think we have eight, though, did we? Uh, uh, no, these guys are more. these guys already have fucking rations. You don't need to give them the yours. All right, I'm true. going to give them all bangers and mash, and for the rest of the party, I'm going to make something else. Or what are you going to uh, make? We get I'd something like, better. Uh, what's like, like, on, what's like remain, what, make something better? Bangers and mash is not. I want bad. salmon. I am. I, know, I was making a joke. I'm about to say, don't insult my cuisine. That is from my home country. <laughs> uh, that is in your home cuisine. Do they just... put gravy on everything? No, not everything. Uh, some people do. They're weird, but. <laughs> do you like gravy? <laughs> not really. Evil. All right. What? Uh... Evil. <laughs> hmm. uh, what gravy does everything. Oh, uh, like what? What ingredients are available right now? 
Uh, currently everything you see there, you can see some sausage, some fish, bread, maybe a bit of cheese. You can see a little bit of pork and maybe like a few eggs. Uh, but you do f also find a little bit of crawfish as well. Okay. What is that purple stuff? I think eggplant. Yeah. That's a whole lot of eggplant. Egg Wait, or, hold or, on. Okay. Eggplants haven't been domesticated yet. Why are you lying? Well, they have what been domesticated have here. This is a fantasy world. But also, I find it odd and interesting how you know that fact. Jesus. <laughs> or is it a yam? I'm all, it might be yams. I'm gonna say, uh, Can I I'm get gonna to say the it's a yam. Yams. I'm gonna say it's a yam. Sweet yams. Alright. <laughs> yams. I'm gonna deal with yams. That's fucking. Because I wanna make something with yams. Oh, we can. Fishing line. Alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll basically just, uh, make a candied yam for a side dish. Uh, for the main dish, I'll use, um, uh, some of those fish. A bit of... Oh, wait, what's down here? What is down here? Oh, that's a lot of sausage. Yeah, that'll probably be some of the bangers and mash. Um... Yeah, I'll just make a main dish of uh, the grilled fish, uh, this, oh, uh, some cheese on the side, and candied yams. Hmm. All right. Roll, roll for cooking. Bunch of very broad tasting foods. All right. Well, I've been thinking. Candied yams go with cheese, and sweet and savory. Oh, you man. know, all this time I've been lied to. What? what I thought was sweet potato was yam. Yes. They are very close. Well, wait. Yams and sweet potatoes are things? 25. Yes. Nice. A yam is like the, uh... They're, they're like the what? Oh, yeah. They're like the uh, deeper orange ones where sweet potato is much more firm and a lighter shade. Yeah. Is there a difference in the taste? Yes. Very much so. Hmm. They're close, but they're very different. See, that uh, is an oxymoron. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're good. Leave my oxymoron alone. I am a moron. <laughs> I've got a 25 for the cooking utensils. Alright. So you are able to prepare a wonderful dish. Um, for everyone to consume. Um... Once everyone eats it, they feel pretty rejuvenated and fairly relaxed. Uh, that includes yourself, Noah. In fact, you actually don't currently feel seasick right now. Yay, the cure. Yeah, you've just cured Noah's seasickness. I feel like that's a um, warning of battle to come. <laughs> How? Perhaps. How? Perhaps. Because, why? Because it puts uh one of our players into a combat ready situation, like uh, not situation, but like um. Condition. Condition. Yes, that's the word. Uh, Fairweather, having lived in you know Skylands, being a harpy, she does not know how to determine between root vegetables, and oh. so she sees the yams and goes. <laughs> Oh, potatoes! Did you know that potatoes uh, contain toxic <laughs> compounds uh, called glyocalcaloids? That's pretty cool. What is a glyocalcaloid? It's a toxin. Some potatoes, when you fry them with certain oils, become carcinogenic. You're saying yeah. words that don't exist. <laughs> no, we're not. These people. Sometimes potatoes can be poison. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust your words. Uh, well, um... What would you know about eating potatoes? Lighter, less knowledgeable note, um... These yams, th these potatoes are not poisonous. Bees make, make honey. <laughs> nice. I don't think potatoes would be commonly eaten if they were poisonous. Well, well raw, they... uncooked, they are poisonous. Many I think they're poisonous, but uncooked. More raw potatoes than I have. 
I know. read so in a uh, in a book one time. You know how to read? Yeah, pretty rad. That is a. Uh... Wait, you can't read? There we go. Oh yes. Okay. It so you have <laughs> level two. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> oh no. You made this. I did. I forgot about this. Okay, so everyone gets one point of inspiration. Of inspiration. They get uh, an, a D8 they can uh, use to roll for a, a ability check, initiative, but not... Uh, and also attacking, but not attack damage. It's a D10. Oh, it's a D10. Oh, shit. My bad. I have yeah. two of these now. Whoopee! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you also gain... You also regain 1D4 spell points. Ah, uh, radical. When used... Or like one at the time of casting or whatever. Uh, at like once you eat it. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone recovers three uh, spell points. That's fucking oh. awesome. Yeah. I mean, I can't go above the max. Yeah, you I don't even have free spell points. <laughs> wow. Lovely. All right. That's. That's pretty good. I completely forgot about that. That I made that. But that's fucking awesome. Alright. You can feel that the ship is beginning to slowly slow down. We have exactly six of us. So that's perfect. Oh, hell yeah. I think. Um, would you guys like to go check out the top? Uh, That might be oh, yeah. smart if I had to guess. You currently go up to see that uh, you guys are approaching land, and off into the distance, on the top of a hill, you can actually see a fairly large mount mansion. Ooh. Yes. With Fancy. I gotta go for like ten seconds. That's right. Just... It has. On a side note, I am back. Oh hell yeah! Well, you guys are pulling into port. After getting off the ship, you could see how the ship. Am I getting kicked? Huh? Am I getting kicked off the ship? No, no, after getting off. Because you guys are pulling into port. Where oh, is that part? Yeah, which just basically means you're just pulling in to, like, stop and get off the ship. I'm just saying, I don't know if we're getting off because we got kicked off beforehand. Oh, no. no. Everyone else is getting off so they can talk to the. Uh, actual lord of this land to see if they can use I have no clue what everyone else could have done while I was gone. Well, we were just eating. We. Because yeah. I, I said the captain's mother smells like a rotten fish. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, basically, <laughs> Noah, we were just eating. Uh, you have a point of inspiration now. Everyone nope. knows. So you, you can add a uh, d10 to any. Uh, it's like what? Skills to hit. Save and what else was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. Skills, saving throw, and the hit rolls. Not damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the sad thing. And anyway, speaking if of this, could, never guess what I got to eat. We busted. Oh, what did you say, Noah? <laughs> <laughs> no, oddly enough, I'm showed up to give me fish. Ah. Hmm. All right. Uh, I need to go res up the Lord. Oh, everyone gotta go riz up the lord. These so, are talking to me, though, because I have really good charisma. So you guys make your way up and... And if it doesn't work, I will try right after. Once you guys get close, you can see the lord's estate. It is a fairly large building with several small buildings surrounding it, with red-roofed tiles and a large bell which seems to be in the center. Uh, you guys enter from here. Oh. Ah, the map didn't update till just now. Okay. Oh, please down, my boy. All Whee. right. I see a bell. I must ring it. <laughs> do you go, do you go around and go upstairs to ring it? 
<laughs> That's the intro thing. I need to talk first. <laughs> All right. So, Miss Alay is currently leading the charge with a very determined yet kind of angry look on her face. Oh damn! She's going fast. Yeah. <laughs> no time to wait. No time to wait at all. Where's That's everyone not... else? There you go. Oh, it's about to attack. She begins to aggressively knock on the door as a, uh, a very old, uh, human man with uh, his hair is beginning to gray. He has no hair on top of, on the top of his head, but a very small. Oh, wait, hold on. What? Hmm? You said he has no hair on his head, but his hair is on Oh my! His mustache. Also, when he said the top of the head could be the side. Well, he didn't say balding. True. I could have. Yeah, I should have said balding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, he is currently balding with his hair turning slightly. With his hair turning gray. Um, he looks regal, and says, "Good evening, Miss La. How could I be assistance to you and your compatriots, companions, actually?" Dreadfully sorry. I would like to speak with the Lord. It's about the missing boats. We figured out the cause of it. Right this way. As you guys move, I believe it's to this one. Yes. When you guys walk inside, you immediately see a, a very nice velvet red carpet. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the curtain. Like uh, oh, go right ahead. That's if it led anywhere. Those are just like one giant flat red carpet. Uh, it is for looks. Miss uh, Alay begins to aggressively walk toward. The door of here. Would I, uh... But he is it just try to calm her down? Alright. You go over there and uh, what do you say? Uh, Miss L.A., it, it's probably best that we at least take a more calmer approach. We might be a bit more... He, he might listen to us a bit more if we're not, uh... Looking like we're about to cut his head off. Roll for persuasion. Oh boy, it's time to finally tap into my my riz. proficiencies. Yes, your riz. My riz. riz. <laughs> your rizma. Riz. All right. Uh, how's a twenty-three? Oh well, she looks at you and then her gaze softens. You're right. I need to be on his good side to get permission. Alright. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's walk inside. I'll place my boy down again. Walk inside to see a fairly... There's no, there's no like, gentle way of putting this. Fat man. Just like... You said fat? Yes. Fat. Okay, you said no gentle way of putting this. You could say plus size, you could say plump shaped. Plump. And there was plenty of ways you could say it without saying fat. Plus size ends at a certain point. This is just fat. <laughs> <laughs> Chronically obese. Alright, yes. Chronically obese. Chronically a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Morbidly obese. Morbidly obese. Morbidly obese. <laughs> Morbidly obese. <laughs> Morbidly. <laughs> uh... As he's like aggressively chowing down on the leg of a uh, pheasant. I respect it. No, don't look. Good day to you. I'm Lord Fabian, and you are Lord Fabian. 
we have finally figured out the cause of the missing ships. Good. Have they taken care of it yet? No, no, they have not. Mainly because we ask of you to lend us your ship so we can go fight these pirates head on. Pirates, you say? In these waters? I highly doubt it. Huh. Well, from being on the ship myself, I got first glimpse of that, that it was indeed a pirate ship or some vessel that was attacking our own. I merely ask of you that you lend us the ship once. Stop the pirate threat period, and then we will be able to freely sail and export our goods. Hmm. You there, tall man with the white hair. Yes. I presume you're the witch I hired. One of. There's a fair few of us. I see. And do you see this pirate ship? I was not present at the time, but I had seen them come back, heavily wounded, with multiple sh holes in said ship. We had to repair both the sails as well as the mast. So, what you're saying is that you do not know the threat you're facing. And, no less, the ship could have been driven by a reckless... Fool! I assure you that our helmsman here is no fool. In fact, they're one who drives us here in perfect condition. It is still out of the question. You may not take our, you may not take my ship to face off against a lowly pirate. Take a small boat and raid the Raid the ship yourselves. You virtually hey. do that, can't you? I assure you, sir, it's very important that we use your vessel as we have cannons prepared that no small ship could handle. Plus, Cans. wouldn't you want the glory of your ship taking down these reckless pirates that have been scouring the seas and taking your goods? It would look good on your name, you know. Perse uh, persuasion. <laughs> Roll for persuasion. I don't, I don't know, know, man. Taking their shit. Oh, that's a nice. one! Oh. I, I just made... This. Okay, okay. Uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, wait, you can... <laughs> we, we, listen, we listen to them. We take uh -huh. the ship. Uh-huh. And we make it our own. We get our own ship. <laughs> you take the ship. I'm not I'm one! Or you Why? Why? No! I, I am and, a basket. Instead of house flipping, we do ship flipping. Man. Now of all times, and that one. Yeah. Uh, you can. Can I roll instead? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> you can use you can use your inspiration point though. Don't I have two actually? Can I use the help action with cookies? <laughs> help action with cookies. I'm gonna say yes. Oh. <laughs> Not going full account on them. But... <laughs> Uh, That'd be a uh, same thing with my account. All right, 15. all right, all right. Use a fifteen. Use a fifteen. Okay, and then I'll be plus seven. I'm guessing. Yep. So fifteen plus seven. Mm, I that is twenty-two. <sighs> These cookies are mm, delightful. Immaculate. Mm, yes, immaculate is the good word for it. But my hands are tied behind my back. You see, I've already promised my ship for someone else to use. They'll be here in three days. They're a treasure hunter, and they promised to bring me much gold until this treasure's found. What kind of treasure hunter? Oh. Is he searching for the One Piece? I don't know what the One Piece is, but it sounds like it's real. <laughs> he's f he's looking for Captain Midas's lost gold, you see. They've recently... Wait, hold on. 
Wait, Sean, isn't that the map? Oh, don't I have the map for that? Yes, you do. Something tings in your brain that the dude that you gambled with might have been the dude that this man hired to find this treasure. How would he find the treasure if he doesn't know the map? Or did he just memorize it? Maybe. Or maybe he didn't tell Fabian that he lost the map. Uh, can I try convincing the Lord? Sorry, that took way longer than I was expecting. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah? Big minute. What are you planning? Can I just show him the map? You want to do that? Yeah, bro's a fake it, one. All right. He's a fake it a frog. Also, right after this job gets done, mm -hmm. try to find <laughs> Wait, what? Right after this shop gets done. Pressure on. Hell yeah. <laughs> you show him the map and his fucking eyes nearly bulge out of his head. <gasps> Even this bulbous man knows that that's a real fucking map. Why did you get that? I think the guy that you hired played you. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. Well, hmm. Hmm. fine. You've may you've convinced me. You may use the ship to engage the pirates, but after that, you give me that treasure. You understand? I'm not sure about that one, Chief. Hmm. What do you, you mean? Can get out. My map. Well, I... I hired the man that you got the map from. Thus means I okay. hired you. With upfront <laughs> payment, mind you. If you're oh, hiring me, then why are you asking for money? I'm not sure this is how jobs work. That is a bit strange, but... Why is he paying you? Um, you can get halves if you let me take the ship afterwards. Take my ship. <laughs> uh, how, ab how about I need some time to think about this? How about you all stay for the evening and set out sail tomorrow morning? Free breakfast included? Uh, <laughs> yes, it is included. Could I ask one more favor? Yes. Go right ahead. Might I ring the bell? Uh, sure. <laughs> is... uh, the dude's like <laughs> mad sweating. He looks like he, he's sweating buckets. <laughs> dude's built like a bucket. <laughs> the dude's well, <laughs> built like a bucket. <laughs> Beautiful words. <laughs> oh, please, leave me be. I need to finish my 12 pheasants. <laughs> oh, and, uh... Oh, just imagine him morbidly sucking the meat off the bones. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the kind of guy to freaking suck out the bone marrow. <laughs> I was not leaving anything behind. I'm sorry, Shun, that didn't pick up. Uh, could you... Try that again, close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dying. I'm He's just slurping on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could hear it! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again anyways. You <laughs> hit bits of it. It just got out. It's not picking up. <laughs> oh, it. It's only Discord, because I know for a fact OBS is picking my ass up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking kudos to you, Noah. Jesus. All right, you guys have a place to stay for the full night. Um, as he, like, shoos you away. Oh. <sighs> Congratulations, you now, uh, you've now gotten to think. 
Wow, holy shit. Probably the first time he's done that in a while. He's gonna need to take some heart medication. <laughs> yeah, probably. We just robbed him of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe I got a nat 1 the one time it mattered. Well, yeah. it didn't really matter now, did it? Yeah. Yeah, you guys recovered, thank god, but my, my plus 7 in persuasion falls to a nat 1. Thank god he likes cookies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God, they like cookies, yeah. Thank God Noah's a fucking big brain. Well, uh, I know what I set out to do, and I'm going to do it. The bell. All right, you're going to rush upstairs to ring the bell. <laughs> With childlike like glee. Piece of cheese that falls off the bell. With right. childlike glee, I'm ringing the fuck out of that bell. Bing, bing, <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> Just aggressively, <laughs> like, continuously ring the bell as we go back down to the first floor. <sighs> uh, um, you enjoyed that. <laughs> a missile like walks over to you, Noah, and looks at you and just simply says, Thank you so fucking much. I really mean this. Oh. Thank you. Um, I do not know how to respond to thanks. If there's anything you can, uh, if there's anything I can help you with, anything at all, I, I, lay it on me. I need an old priest, a young priest, and a bucket. What? Huh? Huh? Now you got me confused. What the fuck? What is bro going on about? It's 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 a reference. A reference that but I am what? not understanding. Who chat understands? Ooh. Say it to no one. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, Don't stands. explain it. Uh, right. Noah, could you please repeat it? No. No. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, go ahead. I was going to to repeat it. I don't fucking know. So, uh, so you need a. <laughs> that I need an old priest, a young priest, and a bucket. I, I genuinely have no fucking clue what that means. I'm going back to the boat. <laughs> um, he invited you I guys. I won't part with me boat. First time on a boat. But this is your first time also in a mansion that you're allowed to stay in. But I like the boat better because I, I'm actually allowed in the kitchen. Unless I can raid the kitchen when no one's looking. Maybe. One of these buildings is probably the kitchen. Uh... Ah, here it is. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna explore until I find the kitchen. I'm gonna just fucking <laughs> disrupt right. the staff. So where are you guys going to be going? Fuck you guys... whatever you're cooking. I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, Noah, I don't think you've actually looked at the map itself. I believe I glanced at it. Yes. Hmm. It's, uh, do you want to, like, look at it again? Sure. Alright. When unfurling the map, you could see that it shows uh, Stormstow, the town, and it shows a little cave entrance where there's a little X on it. Saying, and it's called um, Jade Tooth Co uh, Cavern. No, what if uh, I had Or cave, a... sorry. Which is presumably where you guys need to go. Okay, so the main issue is... I issue is what? Where is it? Uh, it's oh. all the way back in Stormstow. You would have to sail back. But you guys now have permission to actually use the ship for both of those things. Or somewhat. I'm keeping the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And so... 
Uh, Rudy has gone off to find the, uh, gone off to look at the kitchen. Um, Fairweather, where are you? I see, like, there's a library sort of area on this map. She's in there. Ah, yeah. Uh, you know you can actually grab your what? character and then they just sort of, uh... Oh, radical. Yeah. I'm just gonna yeah, put her... Ah, here she is. Look at that. Yeah. All right, some some time has passed, and oh yes, William, Rudy, did you say something, Rudy? I didn't say anything. Oh, who said something? I swear, someone said something. I must be hearing things again. Yeah, yeah, yeah you you hear himself, Sean. Just keep going. My dementia Level is kicking in. Um, <laughs> your what's kicking in? My dementia. Your what's kicking it? My dementia. Your what's dementia. kicking it? My dementia. <laughs> My dementia. My dementia. Your what? My dementia. Your what? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, the butler sort of just walks over to you all and just simply says, mm, Good evening, good sirs. How about I take you all to your room? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that would be quite nice. All right, I believe it's the story. Could be wrong. Yes. Yes. Yep. So this is the second story. You guys can explore it freely. I see a very interesting place, but there's no way to get in there normally. <laughs> oh. That looks like you'd have to go from the outside. I'm going to find the chickens. He begins to walk you guys over to your separate rooms. Uh, two oh. of you will be staying in this room. Two of you will be staying in this room. One in here. Like, one in like, here. And, like, two of you guys in here. I believe there's a third story. I want to sleep, I'm gonna sleep uh, in the room closest to actually, the Actually, no, you guys are staying in here. My bad. I forgot about this. Okay, let me load the map. <sighs> there are so many beds in this damn place. I know, it's a fucking ginormous building. In all fairness, the room we're staying in is probably the freaking Lord's house with how much room he'd take up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this place I will never forget the iconic the communal room. area. The more so bedroom you have, the less bedroom you have. So we're staying in this communal area? Correct. Okay. Fat chance, I'm going to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would you... I have no clue where I currently am. Uh, right. I'm... You won't yeah. stop me! Because I left and... Yeah, Altair, you just, uh, you just overheard the negotiations to allow, um, what? you guys to use the ship along with potentially, you know, actually get this treasure. Uh, but he's not actually okay. agreed to anything yet. Okay. Fairweather's sticking with Altair because she doesn't know what to do otherwise. <laughs> and... I think we should speed up, uh, do a little bit of a time skip. <laughs> if that's alright with you guys. I'd love to explore okay. this place at night where I have nobody watching me, but I okay, think so what happens to the dude? I can't remember his name. Um, did he have a name? Yeah, Fabian. Fabian. Nah, I'm not talking about. Fabian. Fabian. Oh, yeah, Fabian. Oh, the butler. The dude that got mad over the map. Uh, oh, yeah, no, you never learned his name. Oh, that's right. The dude you like stole the map from. Or technically, won the map from. So, is what happens? Um, how far is this actually going? 
Just for the night. Yeah. You guys are just staying here for the night, but... Uh, what happens to him? You have no idea. Presumably <laughs> he will be fired. But, uh... I feel like an execution. You will be executed and or turned into an indentured servant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lovely. So, in that case, we'll move over closer to Nightfall. Which all of you have been given, like, some food in your own bedrooms. Oh, I've never been fit from way in there. Thank you very much. How yeah. good is it? I, it's alright. Uh, make a perception check. Perception? Can I use it? Come on. Can I make it with cooking utensils to see yes. if it come on, yes. should taste good? Yes. I'm gonna use my like art my artistic palette. It's failed me. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, you can use a point of inspiration. <laughs> uh do you want to waste your inspiration on this? My ego right now with cooking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's about a 15. So you feel like something's off with the food, but mm. you can't lay your finger on what. Can I do a perception they check for the food. Yes, yes, you can. Sweet. Um, which, all right. Sorry, pulling up the die. This is an um, open meal. They put some weird spices. Oh, so, so the people that aren't human, like how does the food affect them? Uh, same, really the same way as a regular person. Uh, can I so... roll uh investigation? Um, because uh, it does it taste weird as in like it weird, maybe, or does it taste weird as in like oh, there's some weird spice in here. That there's a weird that. spice, and a fourteen. Yeah, other okay, than, I'm like, the roll. weird spice, that's really it. You don't really notice anything. Uh, and you don't know of any poisons that would taste like any anything like this. Alrighty, uh, I'm just already eating it because I'm... Uh, it's just foreign seasoning. Yeah, it's just foreign seasoning. I'm gonna start eating it because even if it is poison, I'm resilient to that. <laughs> I'm investigating this shit. You noticed something. You noticed something very off. The stew that was handed to you all, uh, that I'm presuming all of you have eaten. Uh, I would have eaten a little bit, um, uh, but as soon as it tasted weird, I, um, uh, I, I'm, I, my standards are a little bit high. I, like <laughs> make I don't like it. I've learned to just eat anything I've gotten. You know, food's usually hard to come by. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in agreement with William. And I so ate it all. I'm. I ate it all. Noah. <laughs> I eat a quarter. A quarter of it. Okay. Quarter. All right. Um, I'll make you some food, Noah. Don't worry. You you notice that it has a slight blue tinge to it, uh, which could be due to like the seasoning that they use, oh, but go. you don't know of any within the region. That has any blue like seasoning. Can I check if it's magic? You can roll an arcana check, correct. Can I roll nature on, to see if I recognize any spices in the area? Alright, go right ahead. Um tell me uh, tell me the results of those. Nature. Ooh. 24. I'm proficient. Jesus. Yeah, I'm proficient. I need to know what, what my fucking shit comes from. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sean, I wrote that 20. know what shit is. <laughs> oh, so... I mean, I don't have any bonuses either way, but You so. notice that... You don't know of any seasoning within the area that could be found to be, to be make this, which means it was either imported or artificially made. And Noah, you notice that 
or you can sense deep within your bones there's something magical about this stew. Uh, okay. I, I still wouldn't know that it's... I was thinking I'll make an arcana check, but then I remember, realized I would have no reason to be suspicious. Yeah. Like, I mean... Noah, I know you, that it's... Yeah, Noah, you notice. No, you right, notice right. that it's... You notice that it's magic. But what... Sean. Yeah? Since I'm a... Bit, bit of a traveler, would I happen to... Have tasted something similar at all? I would say roll an intelligence check. Intelligence. Uh, you hit me with one of my oh. shittest stats. Because <laughs> that has to deal with memory. It does. Oh, that'd be history then, wouldn't it? Uh, no, history is more of like, you understand, like, the world's ah, history. Alright, well, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, my intelligence is ass, but... Fuck it. Fuck it with bull. Just a raw d20. A four. My you raws are shit today. Yeah, you don't really know anything like this at all. Uh, I'm gonna need all of you to make a constitution saving throws. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, that is a 12 plus... A six! Plus two. It's a 14. Alright. <laughs> six. Hold one sec. I'm okay, right? Nothing bad happened to me. Maybe. Whatever happened, I'm down and out. My only resistance is necrotic. You have resistances? Uh, investing in magic tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can... If you remember correctly, you get uh, to pick one resistance that your magic can deal out, or resistance to a damage your magic can deal out. Ooh, <laughs> nice. All right. 17. Um, <gasps> so, Noah, could you please roll a constitution saving throw? Oh, he's currently deafened. Uh, we'll catch he's him up later. Gone. I'm going to say I'm going to roll for him, if that's all right. All right. We, oh my god! Oh my god. Fine. fine. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> uh, when you begin to feel... Drowsy? Yes. You begin to... I was about to say, if I had to guess, it's something sleepy. You begin to, like, doze <laughs> off. And eventually fall to the ground. Anyone an elf? Uh, oh. Actually, it was non ma Wait, no, you said it. someone sent something magical. Yes. Noah sensed so, that, it, that it had magical properties. Yeah. Which means if anyone's an elf, they, I want to say they can't be put to sleep by magical means. Half-elf. Uh, uh, Rudy's a half-elf! Yep. All right. Rudy's resistant. Oh, I, um, I, wouldn't I know that's I for certain for elves, but I'm not, cer uh, I'm not certain about that for half-elves. Uh, they might not have that trait. Half elves are basically just smaller elves. I'm pretty oh. sure they're because they're basically the same thing, just different stats. All right. So does it right. work on you, Will? Let me hold on. Let me see if it, if uh, I'm a, if it's I have the trance four. thing. I'm gonna look on the D and D wiki. Magic can't put me to sleep. I have the Fey ancestry. Hell yeah! I have great memory. God. <laughs> Fuck. You're welcome for remembering a trait. Oh. Uh, Sean. Sean. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, come on, I didn't even know there was sleep magic until now. All right. Fuck all. yeah. Not only <laughs> didn't I fucking eat much of it. But... Yeah, you notice that all of your companions are falling asleep. Except for you. Wait, what was the save? Because I did... Because a lot of us rolled pretty high. I know. Or, not a lot of us, but, like, I rolled a 14. I, I know. That's decent. That's a high save. I Yes. <laughs> oh, it must be good ingredients, then. Whatever the fuck they use. Yeah. Damn, that soup was so good. It put me to sleep. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, that meal wasn't that feeling. It didn't seem like it'd be that feeling. To knock you guys out. Hello. 
I'll just like, come on, I'll just like lightly smack someone on the face. They don't seem to wake up. Okay. I think I have a feeling as to what might be happening. I'm going to roll Arcana. All right. Which I am also prepared in. I am... I have so much knowledge right. for Rabbit yeah, Man. Yeah. A natural one. You've never seen this type of magic before. You've definitely heard of sleep magic, but nothing like this. Nothing at all like this. You hear footsteps outside the door. I'm gonna get in bed and act to sleep. You hear the door open slowly. As the butler comes inside with two hooded Hello. figures as he, they walk toward Noah and slowly remove the map from his hands. I'm ready as hell. Alright. He turns... Alright, so as soon as they're outside of the door, do they come on? Uh, does the door come on? Does the door close? It does. Okay. As not no, not yet. Door, not yet. Before before they okay. leave, he hands the butler hands one of the hooded men with the map and simply says, "This time, don't yeah. lose it. Especially when it comes to gambling." <sighs> What, wait, what were they grabbing? I did not hear that. Map! Oh, the map. Okay, sorry. You, you were quiet. I couldn't hear it. Alright. Alright. Okay, I'll try to speak up. This time, don't lose it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right. Interesting. Although, that still works. Uh, Unspecified. Oh, <laughs> yes. This time, don't lose it. The hook is a great importance to us all. You know that as much as I do. Now. Alright, I'm gonna cast Tempting Treat and put it on my, like, discreetly put it on my, like, uh, uh, what is the term for it? Uh, it's like one of those little dressers come on that's next to a bed. Like right here? That's a table. Yeah. All right. I love that you have a spell called Tempting Treat. And it is mm -hmm. Laszlo, uh... Laszlo City, Godlands, United Kingdom. It's deceptively evil. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to have to roll three uh, wisdom saves. Wow. Holy crap. All right, well, two of them fail. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, no, that's without, like, bonus. Uh, <laughs> but even still, yeah, two of them do fail. It's only the butler that seems to be fine. He's awake! As no. the other two, like, begin to, like, 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 begin to aggressively lick the fucking <laughs> dresser and, like, gnaw on it. As the butler grabs the map and begins to book it out of the, outside the door. I don't think so. <laughs> it's time. You fucking rise out of bed like you're fucking possessed and chase after the man. Alright. And those two are gonna have to keep making wisdom saves, keep eating the treat for the next minute. And everyone else is still currently unconscious. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Fully passed out. We're very helpful right now. The I'm going to punch you. Yeah, the ma the butler. I'm going to actually just grab one of. I'm going to grab this. For the butler. What the fuck? You bitch ass motherfucker. Spike, no, Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> you slept with my wife. Right. All right, we're. Uh... Let me just find that. Let me just grab you. There we go. Don't know why the fuck that took so long, but that's fine. Because so aggress uh, begins to run downstairs. You have 30 feet of movement. 
but he has a head start. Or 35 feet of movement. You can do yep. that if you so choose. <laughs> oh, uh, bro is not escaping. He's not escaping. And as soon as I can touch him, or or get within an area of touch, uh, I'm going to cover him in candy. All right. Honk shoo, honk shoo. What the fuck is <laughs> honk shoo? We're sleepy. Oh. It's sleepy time. <laughs> <laughs> it was snoozing. Uh, all right. So you fucking dart, bam, ba bam, ba bam. I did drop that. All right. So uh, I need to make a. Oh. Oh, this is an armor for yourself. Oh, if I oh read the rest of it. If you summon an enemy, they need to make a strength saver be restrained. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, I um <laughs> I can either make caramel as an armor uh, or just coat them in caramel. Yeah, that's a fail. That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it, like he's he's out he's outwardly like his ma the map is like close out of his hand as like the Camel wraps around his body, restraining him. Don't worry. I won't let any of it get over your nose or mouth, so you won't suffocate. But I'll be taking this back. It was rightfully won. The man now, is deeply afraid. Don't disturb us sleeping again. We need to be well rested to deal with the pirate sword. And I'll melt the caramel off it. <gasps> yes, yes, sir. Oh, and if you want to join me for some tea and crumpets, just ask. I make some very good biscuits. Yes. Yes, I see. Yes, uh, have a good I will day. return to my room. Uh, and as soon as uh, the other two are like, uh, w uh, what what stage are they at? Are they still just like eating whatever cookie or yeah. treat that I put on the desk? Yeah, they're still eating the desk. Well, well, boys, I'm glad that you're enjoying the whole as much as you are. But as soon as you're done chewing on. Uh, picking splinters out of your teeth. I'd on um, ugly. Uh, huh? Well, I can't. Uh, we can't hear you. Oh, oh, really? Oh, fuck. Yeah, badly. It uh, rarely. Uh, well, as soon as you two boys are done chewing on my desk, uh, I would come on. I'd go back to your rooms and pick the splinters out of your teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 They're still chewing on the fucking table. Alright. Uh, and I'm just going to, like... Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to the paper. Uh, then go to sleep. Alright. In the morning, when everyone arrives, you all have, a, like, a slight headache. And you see that the ta that one of the tables has a chunk taken out of it, like a bite chunk. Mm. Oh, they're going to have to re-varnish the whole thing. Poor fuckers, that's going to take a while. Um, did someone eat a table last night? No judgment, Ooh, just two like... People. Two people, okay. Which two <laughs> people? Who? Oh, uh, they were trying to get this. But they very generously gave it back to me. I didn't raise a complaint with the chef. I haven't had this bad of a headache since I tried that 200% alcohol. <laughs> ah. It's not actually 200%. It's just those weird 
fake brands, but ugh. Oh, yeah. They just uh, claim it is. Uh, they claim. I'll, I'll whip up a hangover cure for whatever, whatever you guys eat, have eaten. No and I, I'm uh, we're going to get a big brick going. Yeah. Uh. I ain't eating anyone else's food. Just yours now. Never again. Yes. I was looking forward to exploring this place at night as well. Yeah. Well, you seemed a bit tuckered out anyway. Yeah, um, Glad you were well rested. I will say that you guys did wake up, like, before the sun fully rises. Oh, great. Yes, so it still is technically night if you do want to explore. I do want to explore. Alright, so you exit I'm out going of the room. I'm going to go make some breakfast. Alright. So take my leave. Where do you go? Uh, this is a fucking hmm. balcony. I don't know where I want to be. There's a, a lot to explore. Honestly, I want to look around just all the rooms, see what's, see what's going on here. What does this bad man have going on in this house? A lot of the rooms are poorly taken care of. Hmm. You know, no I'm honestly not that surprised. I mean, yeah, I doubt he goes anywhere. <laughs> Do you want to look at this room? Piano room. Yes. When you walk inside, I'm guessing... it's not just a piano room. It's a bedroom. Long been abandoned. The... Shutters are nailed shut. And the room is a complete and utter mess. The door, strangely enough, has a lock on it, but not from the inside, only from the outside. You guessing that was easy to take apart? Gee, how how uh, how strong is the lock? Uh, not at all. You were able to get inside. It's like unlocked. Right. It's just like there is a fairly large lock that's from this side, not this. I do wonder why. Hmm. Is there anything interesting looking aside from the fact that they have a whole grand piano inside of a bedroom? Roll for perception. Perception. Oh yeah, another shit stat. Oh, yeah. Another A heat. Nothing out of, uh, other than the fact that the room looks dirty. Nothing really piques your curiosity. Hmm. Just from a once over, because I don't want to touch the piano. I don't want to wake anyone up. Does the piano look like it's still in working order? Yes, but it looks like one of the keys uh, seems to be sunken down. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna touch it because, uh, like I said, I don't want to wake anyone up. Uh, I guess it's time to go to the next floor to look around then. Right. You want to go upstairs or down? Uh, pretty sure upstairs is just the bell, isn't it? Yes. Make a quick look upstairs. Any anything else aside from the massive fuck off bell? Ah, uh, doesn't look like there's anything else here. What are these bags? Uh, they are filled with wheat. Wheat? Strange place to put wheat bags. Also, special. I will let a uh, our chef know though. <laughs> I guess it's down too full, son. What is he going to cook with just like straight wheat? We can always ask for the wheat since it's being uh, left up in the bell. It could be for <laughs> sourdough starter. Oh. Ah. Uh, I guess we down to the next floor then. There's a lot of crates up there though. Now here's where the fun begins. Because there are a lot of rooms around here. Uh. 
Looks like it's another kitchen over here. Which... That's the best way to put it, it's just rolling investigation on the floor in general, because, uh... Can't say I know any specific, uh, particular areas. Hmm. Is anyone else gonna investigate by any chance? Investigate? No, I'm busy cooking. <laughs> Like Let ride. this man cook. Oh, um, you can be along for the ride. Yeah. I'll. I'm not gonna hold I'll do the same action as well. Let's go. We got a party to investigate. <laughs> Woo! So where do you guys go? We could all split up and look around. That sounds good. All right. Okay. Which room do you guys explore? Ah, I want to look down bottom right here, like around here. Ah, this room? It's just sort of hallway in general, it looks interesting. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Okay, uh, if they went that way, I'm gonna go over... Yeah, I want to go over here. Wish we could all use the little... Ring thing, but I don't think we can. I don't know how to do it. Ring thing? What do you mean? We like clicking the pulses to show this area. Oh, and yeah, then you, that. Just, you just click and hold. Yeah. I like oh, that. I never well, knew that's that. That's so cool. Yeah, oh. that's just help me locate you guys. So, yeah. That's fun. All right. So, uh, I'm going to actually do with the majority and just do you guys. Or, uh. All right. Or I'll tell. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you notice three separate doorways. One that says collection, one that says armory, and one that has wood barring the door. Boarding the door. Hmm. Looks like there's something in there that he doesn't want us to see. We should check it out then. After... What I've been told happened to us last night, most definitely. I have no respect for this man anymore. Exactly. Let's do it. Um. So, how good Maybe at breaking a... down wood would you be? Uh, well, I do have a... Basically a blast from my magic. I'd probably just try and do this the normal way. I don't want to wake them up with an explosion of sorts. Hmm. So My strength isn't all that good, though. Which door do you want to go through? Uh, I suggest maybe we should try the collection first. Oh, there's some goodies there. Yeah. Let's check it out. Before we go in, though, could I check for uh, any traps or anything that would load them that we're sneaking into their collection? Investigation. Ooh-wee. That's a plus one. <laughs> You can get some assistance if you. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, you want to give out help help action? Out. All right. So you now roll with advantage. Two d twenty. Okay. All right. We take that seventeen. Or that uh, sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> you. There are no traps in the door. Oh thank God. All right. Let's go in then. Nice. You go inside to see a array of what seems to be artifacts. Yeah. This room. I should take up the whole damn thing, got that? <laughs> yeah, I should have made this, I should have made this place bigger. I think next session I will. All right. Um, I'll probably double the size, but but you notice um, that all these artifacts here are rare. There are collections, uh, magical relics th that fuel different different things. Hmm. Is there anything here that I would recognize? Roll for history. Rad. What is my situation with that? Do I have positioncy? Positioncy. I can say <laughs> words. I'm really good at saying words. No, I I understand <laughs> Leave Altera alone. <laughs> uh, okay. Radical. Ooh. So you notice something off. You studied artifacts for a long time long long time and Heck yeah. 
Something about these feels off. They look close to the real thing, but not quite. Wait a second, these are all fakes. Huh. So Wouldn't put it past the fat man, he probably got tricked. Yeah, none of these... None of these are, the, like, the real artifacts. Man, my, that's a letdown. My big question is, why did they were have, real, like, they probably would have been here. worth a lot of money. He probably got tricked. Hmm. Now, why would he have a cannon in this room? Um, fun and profit. You notice that you, uh, once you look closer at the cannon, you can see that it, there are parts of it that are made of gold. Mm hmm. With a strange symbol that has been carved into one, uh, to a side of the wood. Can I try check Arcana with it? Right it? Arcana. Alright, uh, my icon is a plus zero. <laughs> Can I get a bit of help? I'll help out. <laughs> I actually have... I'm not nearby. I, there would be no logical reason for me to help. I actually have proficiency in arcana, so I could do the investigation. Yeah, you should probably do it, and then I'll just help out with it. Radical. So, since you're helping, that means I've got proficiency, right? Uh, uh, advantage. 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 advantage, right. I already have proficiency in that. Um, cool. So that means I roll two of them, and then my modifier is like four. Roll. No. Oh, oh, damn! Wow. You... No, this is not magical. But, you can tell it was meant to be. With the runes and carved on it, which, by the way, you found runes upon it, it was supposed to fire specialized arcanic shells. But this is a, clearly a fake. In fact, all of these were meant to be magical. Some of them even were meant to be cursed. So why are they fake? Why dedicate a room to fakes? Okay. Mind spins out of confusion. Okay, either he was dumb and didn't check to see if his artifacts were legit, or he has the display room for all the fake ones and the real ones are in a vault somewhere. He could be hitting us with a juke, but at the same time, do we trust that man to be smart? I mean, I if mean, he did hire a dumbass who proceeded to bet his map to think he was hired for in a game of cards. Very true, but I also do have a feeling that this guy is protective of his money, and. You More would not. Things. You would not leave all of. If he thought that these were real, he would not leave them all out in a collection room. Hmm. Well, I guess nothing left to do but move on to the next room. Yep. Probably also why the door wasn't trapped. I do want to say that I have to go real quick. I'll be Oof. back in a short bit. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, no gives us some downtime. I have to use. Scrub it up and double 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 a fair chunk of our session time with just me doing stuff on my own. <laughs> it's awkward. Yep, I get that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, quite the mystery to be solved. Yep, I have a feeling that. It has something to do with that room that is, like, across the map full of gold that we are... It Probably. looks like it's not... We're not able to get to it from this floor. I'm doing my best to not say, Hey, I want to go explore this place. Because first of all, it's not on the floor. Second of all, yeah, it's it just in character to try and see things. Yeah. <laughs> there might be a room with the actual real ones 
these are just decoys with a tracker on it. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. We know the decoys, that's about it. But, uh... Yeah, you see, I don't trust this fat man. <laughs> and so, uh, as a man who does not have uh, much he's living with, uh, I'd like more things to live with. I'm going to rob you. <laughs> it's like my introduction with uh, Rudy. Uh, I did pickpocket the fat man. I have a theme of pickpocketing fat men. I just realized the two times I've been doing illegal stuff with filfer a thievery. It's been fat people. Oh that hit. I also just got a TM. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, whether he was tricked into buying all this stuff, uh, or this is a room of, come on, or if this is just a means of protecting his real treasures, uh, yeah, it shouldn't really matter for now. We'll probably find out if we do find out more details. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Sorry, I had a fork from my mouth. Alright, alright, I am back and I have cake. Oh, uh, well, I see. I'm yes, my sweet tooth. It's all consuming. Now. Yep. So what you're saying is, is you'd lose the tasty treat. Huh? What? <laughs> you'd lose the tasty treat. Yeah. Or tempting treat. Yes. <laughs> It'd be like that. I'm a sucker for uh, cinnamon rolls. I got a red velvet cake slice. Ooh, red velvet Man, cake. Man, I want cake so bad right now. Thanks a lot. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Exactly. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, fuckers. I work at a cake store. How is the first Pokemon? Well, uh... God, I am hungry. Alright. Now. <laughs> the next room. You walk over to see a, well, as the title would say, an armory. A conglomerate of different weapons and armors. You can, you even see a full set of plate mail. Hmm. Yes. Can I investigate the weapons? Check how good they are quality-wise? Sure. Alright, time for another horrendous roll from yours truly. <laughs> I'll help out. Oh, you'll help out? Oh, never mind, I got a 20 anyway. <laughs> wow, you see that the weapons are in decent condition. They need to be sharpened, but other than that, they're pretty good. Except for one weapon. Mm -hmm. It's well? a saber. It's light when wielding it. And it almost seems to hum. It's the only one that is that is basically in prestige condition. We're running an arcana check on that saber. Yeah, I'll help out with that. All right. Roll arcana. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 22. You know that this is a magical oh. weapon. Um it doesn't seem to be cursed at all. Hmm. I hear the tippity tappities. How into stealing a sword would you be? Oh, very much so. Radical. But I don't have any respect for this bulbous man. Wait, we're stealing this sword, and is there another uh, 
like weapon what's the next best weapon in here the rest are all right it's just up to what you want really oh like there's a grit axe is that a great sword over there looks like it looks like the buster sword <laughs> uh scythe trident that's just from looks though. Could be other stuff here as well. Probably some basic I swords, of course. Would one hundred percent like a scythe? Are you a half-caster? Hmm? Are you a half-caster? Oh no, I can't have a weapon. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, I am a half-caster. However, if I had a weapon, I would not know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, same. Fairweather wants to take a scythe for the aesthetic. All right. You take <laughs> I completely agree, but I'm also not there right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you take the scythe with you. It's decently yeah. heavy. And I'm, I presume you take the sword. Of course. All right. So, um, when wielding it, it's it's as if your hand doesn't want to let go. Is it cursed? It's not cursed. It's already been said it's not. Okay. I think it just comes from the part of me that does love weaponry. Of course, I, I would not let it go, but I kind of have to to sheath it to make it look like it's just part of what I've always had. Yeah, you, once you sheath it... Or, how about we just never interact with them again? <laughs> hmm. Alright. Now... You leave the room with a new sword and a new scythe. Nice. I love how you both are looting these for this guy. Hey man, he poisoned us. Yeah, that's uncool. And when <laughs> you're in an uncool, uncool person's house, you gotta rob them. That's just like... <laughs> oh yes, being poisoned. Yo bro, that's uncool. <laughs> yeah, that's uncool, man. So, uh, I did notice one thing about this room. It's not just uncool, it's very uncool. Oh, yes, yeah, so I forgot exactly. about as well. Uh, so, if the, anything, uh... they should have seen this coming. Yeah. There are the shields, but there's also seemingly a door there. There is a door. If he asks, we can Ew. Just say we've been outfitting ourselves for the battle. We'll pay you back in double. But we'll never come back to your house again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pay you back by you never have to talk to us again. Yes. <laughs> um. So, I see this door on the wall here. Mm -hmm. What do you say we check that oh. out? As you see, it looks like a door, but at the same time, it's not as outlined as the other ones are. Mm. What does it look like from our end, Shuen? It looks it looks like it was meant to be like it was painted to look like a part of the wall. Huh. Uh. But I'm guessing the outline of the door is just a bit too different to a wall. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on, what's going on with the stream? Oh, we're having stream problems. Bet yes. Oh, what the hell? Uh, this is no longer streaming. Did it just crash? Oh, 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 okay, okay name. hold on. Booga booga. Are we good? Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Uh, don't know what the fuck was that on about. Um, uh, Twitch is Switch. Oh, okay, I see what happened. It uh, decided to go fuck itself and then created two identical streams picking up with where we last left off. Mm. That's <laughs> great. That's just lovely. Thank you, technology. Thank you, Twitch, for being such an asshat. You can go fuck yourself. Damn. Uh, no, because it's going to be a pain in the ass in like when I upload this, but... Uh, oh, well. fair enough. Oh, uh, oh, well. It'll be... Be fun. When has anything ever gone wrong? My Appreciate the sarcasm. Alright. 
It was designed to look like it was a part of the wall. Hmm. Secret door. Are we, do we know it's a door, though? Yes, We're just like you judging. do know it's a door. We do know it's a door. Still okay. A fucking doorknob. Okay, so there was an attempt to make this secret, but the architect was clearly stupid. You know, they could have just like torn the door down and then put some wood in there, but you know, might as well go through. Yeah. What's to lose? Besides, so maybe a limb or so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should check this for traps, but at the same time, I don't think Ray believes that this man is capable of making traps or hiring yeah. someone who actually knows how to. So I'm just, I'm just going. Yeah, fair weather is the same. You go in and do you close the door behind you? Ooh. Uh. I don't like that you asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> But to stay We're in gonna Paris, say I that would. Fairweather, you would. Unless, oh, I would. Unless you Fairweather's got the same issue as my Fairweather wouldn't care, but she does have the same issue as uh, younger siblings, in which they will come into your room and not close the door on the way out. <laughs> so it's more instinctual to close it then. Yeah. So All right, then we close it. Close it. It looks like it's part of the wall. In fact, there's not even a handle to grab onto. Oh, you That's kind of a gun. <laughs> See, oh, crap. Anything ever... Did we just lock ourselves in here? No. I don't think the door is double-sided, so uh, probably. Uh, that... That's great. That's really phenomenal. Just to test, could I try to push right. the door open? You want to kick the door open? No, to see if I can push it normally. To see if it is double-sided or not. It is not. Well, the only way out is if we bust it down, but first... We should look around the room, see why they locked it off. As you look around, you can see that this room is... It looks like it was abandoned. There's a hole in the wall that was uh, covered up with wooden planks. The bed is nearly entirely destroyed. The whole room is dusty. There's an old, rusty set of armor. Hmm. Mm. And a note. On the table. Oh? Uh, hmm. Most definitely reading that. Heck yeah. What's the note say? You open the note slowly. And it just says... Nothing. It doesn't say anything at all. At least not to your eyes. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Okay, then. What does the, like, paper of the note look like? I'm gonna say roll for investigation. Roll for invest already. Hold on, sorry. If I had to guess, I don't believe you guys are supposed to be there. I mean, we weren't supposed to be in the armory either, but that didn't stop us. Well, yeah. <laughs> you really we're just going all the places we aren't supposed to be correct Heck i yeah. mean you've done one of the very big things you're not supposed to do to the people who have magic oh yeah we also did the uh one of the very big things you don't do in uh D, &D which is split the party oh, well. <laughs> because there's just you two over there and then there's me on the other side of this building like you're perfectly safe. No we have our so far. Speaking of which, cooking in the kitchen. Let's move we on have... from you two. Oh no. Over to you. Woohoo! Oh, to the room. Okay. Let's go to the Guys, it's doing. Your time for me. Alrighty, Altair. What's your story? What have you been up to while we've been okay? Okay, so times? um. 
when you guys started going down, um, I decided I was going to go up instead. And I just took the first turns I could see. So I took the first left, and then I took a right into this room. Um, All right. It seems to be a study that is not been used in good time. It's been cleaned, yes, but you can tell nothing's really been moved at all. Is there any, like, papers or anything on the desk? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna just, like, take a brief look at them. These seem to be notes uh, that were taken. Uh, these are actually docking records of about 25 years ago that have not really been touched. Do they have any, like, drawers? Does the desk have, like, any drawers? It does. Alright, I'm gonna open them and look through them. You look through the drawers and say roll a investigation. Uh, that is a 16 plus... Two, 18. Also, for those who don't know, uh, Altair is using physical dice. So, yes, I am. Ew. Because I, I got fancy new ones that are really pretty, and so I want to use them. So Nice. You said yours is 18, right? 18, yes. yes. You find a ring. A pinky ring with a pendant engraved upon it. I'm grabbing Sorry. that. I'm grabbing that ring. It's just another ring. I mean, I've already got the the ring. Yeah, the ring around your wrist. Uh huh. W what harm is another ring? Uh, do I re do I recognize? You said it had symbols, right? A symbol. A symbol. Do I recognize that symbol? Roll for history. Uh, 11 plus 4, 15. All right. You do not. Okay. Um. Is there anything else in any of these other drawers? Uh, no. Except for a note that says, pull the tusk. I'll grab that. Uh, okay. Is there anything else of note in this room? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Um. Is there a tusk in this room? No. Okay. Then. Uh, I'm gonna go into this back area. You walk into the restroom. Oh, that's a restroom? Yes. Oh, I'm leaving, then. To this one? <laughs> I'm going to that room, then. When you walk around the corner, you see a hulking figure of a what looks to be like a boar man with only one tusk. I pull that tusk. You hear a mechanism activate as it moves to the side, revealing a passageway. I'm going down that passageway. This is definitely not the smart thing to do by any means. But, um... <laughs> the stairs go down and down and down to here. Oh, wait. Uh, which okay so there's the room hold on i'm trying to find the room where you're meant to oh. be at that's what that went noah am i here ah no you're right here where oh actually no you are right there wait are you okay hold on I could be right cool there. um no you are not there
I'm thinking. Is... No, no, I'm gonna this say, is. I'm gonna say you are. I'm gonna say you are. I was just choosing there because it looks like there's a staircase going up. Yeah. Okay, um... Okay, I'm gonna keep... I, I did something stupid, I'm gonna continue doing the stupid thing. Uh, <laughs> no reason to go back now. I'm going in. You walk into what, the room what do... with magma beneath the ground. With a red sphere on top of a pedestal. Um. Can I try and identify the sphere? Go right ahead. Roll an arcana. Okay. Fuck, my dice are being good today. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, 18, and then I get plus 4. Christ, 22. You know this as a uh, a amplifier a, a large one too Yank. <laughs> it only amplifies ma it only amplifies magic when a type of magic is close by that's similar to its actual element so and i'm assuming it's fire magic correct um how big is it pretty big. It's about the same size of the, uh, as a soccer ball. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> it's too big to be convenient, but, I mean, I do use um, like, my magic does have a portion of fire in it and they are duration spells, so. How the fuck are you going to carry it? I don't know. Do you have a bag? Um, yeah, I mean, I've got a bag. You want to put it in there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in my bag. You get closer to it, and it it feels hot. Like really I don't have anything hot. to cool it down with. I'm okay. I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna try and grab it and pick it up. All right. You I'm gonna try and do it quickly though, and like. So that way I try not to burn myself. Grabbing a hot skillet. Yeah. It's still going to hurt. I mean, I'm also a cook, and Ooh. so I've got some heat. <laughs> Tolerance. I don't know. I heard from one of my coworkers when the, that when they were cooking, they had that they had to, on occasion, just, like, grab pans out of an oven with, without mitt. I don't know. Alright. Wanna to try to attempt that? The real question is do you think it's gonna burn your back? Do, do I need to roll anything to grab it? Uh dexterity, I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh just flat out de flat dex? Yeah. Or sleight of hand. Uh okay. Okay. Um Okay, that's pretty good. I'd say 15, so, so 16, so I mean, that's pretty good. But considering how hot it is, I don't think that's going to be enough. You try grabbing onto it and your hands fucking singe when getting in contact. You take six fire damage. Ooh. As it erupts oh. in heat, burning your body. As you drop Ow. it into the lava. That doesn't sound good. Fuck. If you don't mind me asking, what's your HP at now? Two. Hmm. Do you wish to continue going? Okay, uh, do I see... Okay, so there, there are, like, these statues in yeah. the corners, right? Yes. Uh, are they holding anything? They are indeed holding weapons. Okay, what are the weapons made out of? 
They seem to be made out of iron. What weapons are they? Great swords. At least okay. to your size, these things are fairly big. Standing about How like much effort left. would it take to pick one up? For you? Yeah. Not possible. <laughs> not only with your burned hands, but the sheer weight of it and the sheer lack of strength of you is going to be quite difficult to do that. I'm only slightly below average. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was thinking I was going to try and use their weapons to pick out the thing from the lava. But that's not going to work if I can't pick it up. Uh, I'm going to continue through then. I'm going to... Uh, maybe I can find something that uh, will help me later. Right. Going to take a peek in here then. Nothing... This room is mostly empty. Except for the, this one curved bit of stone that you see. Is there anything on this curved bit of stone? No. No? No. That's... odd. How big is it? It's pretty fucking big. It's about, okay. like, four feet wide. Okay. Uh, we're... I'm gonna take a note of that. Um... And then I'm going to continue forward. While walking past, you notice corpses locked in cages. Uh, Old. Long decayed. Okay. I'm going to just continue forward. I'm going to continue past. It's just a dungeon. At least that's what it looks like to me. Correct. You walk into what seems like a laboratory. Laboratory. There's weapons. Maybe a slight bit of armor. A bed to your side. And books upon books. But you hear the faint sound of crackling of a fire off in the distance. I'm going to do what I've been doing and I'm going to continue just going through it at one room at a time. Okay, um, so because of that, I'm going to look in that room first because it's a door and going past that allows you where, where does that lead hello I'm trying to remember where the hell that leads which you could like overlay layers huh you want to go through that it does lead upstairs. If it leads up, I'm not going in it. Um, instead, I'm gonna look behind this desk. This 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 room. No, the I'm gonna. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna like peek my head into that room and then it, first. You. This seems to look like an animal's pen, where you would keep an animal uh, before killing it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to look on and around the desk over here. You see a few items, but the main thing that sticks out to you is this diamond. Is it a diamond? A gemstone. Um... I'm yoinking that. Wait, actually, first I'm going to try and identify it. Roll Arcana. This is going to be a low roll. You know, 
I hate it when I call things out and I'm right. What is it? Five. You don't know what this is. Plus four. All you know is so it, nine. All you know is a diamond. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm yoinking it. I I mean, I've been trying to yoink everything. No reason to stop now. For all I know, they don't even know that this place exists, so I'm fine with stealing all of that shit. Um, okay, then I'm gonna look over here, see if there's anything interesting. It seems to be notes ticking on a... particular entity called Jin. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab that as well. I should probably be marking down everything I've been grabbing. Uh, you really should. Diamond thingy. Notes on gin. I should probably be spelling that not gin as in the alcohol. Yes, you should not do that. Um... Uh, I tried to grab the amplifier, but I failed. Um... Okay, that's basically everything. Uh... Okay, now I'm going to go over by these books. These seem to be research books. Of different forms of magic, the effect that magic has on creatures, and magical lands. And sprinkled in there is books of mythology, ancient creatures. Um, how many of these books do I recognize? A few of them you do. Um, a few th a few books on th uh, magical theory, uh, evolution's theory, and arcanus mute uh, arcane mutation theory. But um, okay. nothing really sticks out to you. Is there anything on the mystic type? No. No? No. Okay. Uh... What are... So, you're talking about, like, theory and stuff. Um... How many of the ones that I don't recognize can I grab? Hmm. You have a decent amount of room in your bag. I could see, like, you could fit, like, three books in there before it becomes, like, obvious. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave them for now, because I might have my other things I want to grab first, and I can always come back. Correct. Um, okay, what's up here? Well, I'm just looting. Seems to be a anvil with a, with a half finished sword on top, but the dust on top of it tells you that it's been long abandoned. Um, how high quality does this half-finished sword look? It looks a, it looks of a decent quality, I will say. I'm gonna leave it. I don't really see a reason to grab it. Also, it would be kind of obvious. Yeah, I'm going into this back room. When you walk inside, you see a large chunk of monostone hooked up to a machine made of wood and slight bits of metal. Now, Do I have an idea of what this does? Roll an arcana check. Uh, I'm, I'm not part of the family that does magic shit, right? Uh, no, you are. Huh? You are. Oh, would this give me um, like a advantage over no no uh damn worth a try <laughs> uh that's not gonna make it that's an eight total through all throughout all your knowledge of magic and magical artifacts this is truly a wondrous item you're not even sure how it fully functions hmm. but it definitely okay. uses the monostone to refract something what? You have no idea. 
Um, you know what? Okay, I think my curiosity uh, would get the best of me. Can I figure? Can I try and um, turn it on? Roll investigation. Okay. 14 plus uh, 2. You have no idea how the fuck this works. Okay. I'm to gonna use my point of um, inspiration. Yeah. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> uh, Aren't you playing seven. 2 HP? So that is how much? In total? Okay, uh... Is... I said a 14, right? Plus seven, 3. Uh, oh, 14 plus no. 3 plus 7? No, 14 plus 2 plus 7. Oh. So, 25. 25. Never mind. Uh, you're able to figure out how to turn <laughs> this thing on. I'm turning the thing on. It begins to... It begins to rotate quickly. Okay. Showing off just the light. Okay. That's it? Correct. That's currently it. I'm just going to leave it on. And I'm going to leave. Alright. And... Go through this door, and I guess into here. When you walk in here, you could see a char marks upon the ground. And a arcanic circle. Okay. Uh, I hate to be the one to ask this again, but do I recognize the symbol? Arcana. Yeah. <laughs> Four plus four, eight. <laughs> you don't know really what this is. It could be a spell from a grimoire, but because every grimoire is different, it's hard to really recognize what the spell does. By the way, I am very interested in this, like character-wise, because I don't understand half the shit down here, and I'm from a well-known magic family, like. My curiosity is getting the best of me. I need to know this shit. But I, I can't... I don't have anything to help me. I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna take a note of it. Like, draw the symbol. Alright. Okay. Uh. But behind it, the symbol, is a door. Presumably outside. Wait, now that I've thought of this, I'm actually going to go back here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make, like, a rough blueprint of the thing. Alright. As detailed as I can in as little time as I can. Uh... uh... Okay. After that, I'm gonna go past this into that door. Uh, past that door. Make it now to the first story. Huzzah. I believe it should be somewhere here, right? To me? No, just... Hello? Hello. Alter... There's not an All alter right. character like on... I'm just not getting back any of these floors except for the bottom one you can grab your character and place them there uh where should i grab put them sean can i get a quick catch oh um so how long okay what was the last thing you remembered suspicious stew okay <laughs> so it turns out that stew was drugged you all passed out except for mcfinnegan 
McFinnigan forced the um, two assailants to eat a table, and then uh, <laughs> ran after the butler who had who stole. Hold on, the hold on, hold on, hold on. Eat a table. Yes. yes yeah. He made him eat the table. You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Continue it's on. McFinnigan, don't worry about it. There's no reason to question that. And then once the rest of the party woke up, um. Three of them started investigating, and McFennigan just went off to go cook. Yep. What they discovered, I'm going to let them explain it later. But so what I'm hearing is I got crossed, and I am now going to commit murder. And arson. I'm Don't worry, we can definitely end up in taking you guys down to uh, where I was at. I feel like it makes sense. Yeah. You exit out to the outside. Uh huh. And that's truly it. All you see is the outside. Huh. Wow. Totally not suspicious. Now let's move back over to, I believe, this room. Yep. Where these two gaggle fox are locked, have locked <laughs> themselves in a room. Yippee. Oh. Alright, so if I remember correctly, last time you were trying to investigate what the paper looks like. Yes, I believe, what was the... Hold on, scrolling back it up was to see. A... It was a 20 something. 22. That's all. You notice that it oh, seems okay. normal, except... It has a really odd texture. Mm, this paper's not feeling correct. Oh. Uh, could I run an arcana check on it? Go right ahead. Radical. Eighteen. You know it's not magical. You can tell that much. But there's something else about it. It feels Cool. Strange. Real helpful. Yes. Well, uh, you rolled Arcana. I can tell you this much. Um... You can roll insight on it. An intelligence-based insight. Oh. Intelligence. Okay. Let's do that, then. You have you have heard of something like this before, a sort of invisible ink by using lemon. Ah. There's only one way to reveal the message on it, and that's by baking it, or by or oh, just ahead. have very very good eyesight. That's a good point. That's a good point. Have you ever tried looking for Which harder? technically... Can I do that? Can I do it like, with all the ink? You want to go investigate as well? Noah? I'm still a bit lost, if I'm honest. Yeah, we're... we're uh... So... I'm oh, sorry. I'll move up here for you. Yeah, we should probably move our tokens off of here. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's I... not over there. <laughs> yeah. And bye, fair weather. Yep. So you're currently right here, Noah. Uh, Let me look on the roll Tony real quick. Ah. I believe there may be a snail. 
I believe there may be a snail coming after me. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. no. Uh oh. Run away. <laughs> I might Run catch away. up. But yes. So you wake up in your room seeing that no one is there and Rudy, do you still have the map? Yes. I never get handed it off to anyone. Noah. You wake up, well, no one is there, yeah. and you are missing your map. Hey, I, I told so, Noah yeah, I was going to make I'm him right, yes, the... Yeah, sorry, you woke up with everyone else. Uh, Rudy still currently has her map, but he ran off to the kitchen. I'm going to kill the fat man. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I wish I was uh, watching you for a moment. You want to? You want to go find the fat man and kill him? Please wait for us. If I got drugged, I am putting him in that cage and I'm crushing him to death slowly. Jesus. All right. So, I presume you're going to try to f go find him. So I am going to move you down. Not yet. Oh, not not yet. Sean, uh, you're gonna have something set up where I get jumped, inevitably. <laughs> Perhaps. Also, uh -huh. I can't see the roll 20 on my phone, so... Oh, uh... Uh, here, I'll start streaming the roll 20. Over here, one second. Bingo. There we go. Better. Tragically, it means no more music. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. So where do you go? Where is the most amount of people? Everyone else has left. But uh, everyone has gone probably downstairs. Guess I will be checking downstairs. Make your way downstairs as you hear. Uh, currently, you hear the door close. A door close. Coming from this. Or general direction now the obvious thing to do is to not immediately go to the closed door but I don't do this hard thing so I'm going to check it so you walk into this hallway and there are three doors this one here is boarded up this one here says armory and this one here says, oh my god, I can't remember what I said here. Uh, collection. Collection. Which door do you You know, open? my thought is, why would you just have something labeled collection? That seems <laughs> like, like a very obvious trap. Don't you think? Perhaps. So why don't I just remove the boards on the other door? <laughs> um, you can dang well try. Do you want to use your familiar to help you out? Yes. Alright, in that case, you're going to have to roll sleight of hand and stealth. Oh no, he's going to get the sound. Uh, no, D20. Get his car, I swear. It's a D20. It's D20 plus your dexterity. Plus proficiency if you're proficient in it. Watching that thing. I so Sean, I got a 16. You're able to remove the the boards due to the help of your familiar and his naturally very sharp fingers. Um Rain fa uh, and fair weather, you hear be the boards being removed from this door. Oh, crap, are we myself? going to get found out? 
<laughs> uh, I'm hiding under the table. I'm drawing my sword. Now, no. once you're done, you hear movement inside the room. What do you do? I don't know. I just stay outside the uh, stay outside the room and look. So do you can open I, the door? I roll for perception or? Oh yeah, you can roll. Uh, so do you want to open the door? I just assume that the door is just already open. Oh my bad. No. Um. Once you open the door, you see that. Uh, Ray has drawn his sword, a new sword that he's just collected. And Fairweather is hiding underneath the table. Yeah, I'm doing anything caught again. Nah. No, it's just you. We're fine. Oh, it's this guy again. We're he's cool. The guy We're cool. Yeah. He... Mr. Cannibal Man, yeah. He's the map man. The map. Oh, right, he's got the map because gambles and whatnot. I'm still learning up his name. <laughs> uh, Mapman, how did you get here? Oh, he's deafened. Wait, what? Where are you with you? Wait, I'm deafened? No, 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 Noah is. We're going Noah, Mapman. Oh. He has to go for now. Uh... Again? Again. Alright. Uh, and that, in that case, he's gonna just stay quiet and just do peace out sign and just walk away <laughs> just fades into <laughs> fades out of existence he disappears in the shadows okay cool oh, bye great. matt man see ya <laughs> 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 now there's one place we didn't search which is this little room here you walk inside and there seems to be a, a toilet so it's a toilet. Yep. Alrighty, nothing interesting there. I mean, lucky them, they have a private bathroom, but I don't think anyone comes here anymore, so... <laughs> a waste, if anything. Here, let's take this note and try and get someone who'd set it on fire. Or, you know, Not put it, set it on near fire. fire. Put it near fire. Put it near fire. To bake it, which is a very specific process. I mean, we know one man who can bake. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go to Rudy. So... Alright, you go over to Rudy McFinnigan. Uh, presumably you will have to go outside, if that's the case. Of right, course. Cool. You guys walk into... Hold on. Hold on. Boop. You guys walk into Altair. As Altair uh, just seems to have, like... Appeared through a door on the ground. Altair. Oh, hello, hello. Hello. That's um, not my voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you get here? You went the opposite direction of us. Um. I think you're gonna. I, I think you're gonna want to come with me. I found um quite an interesting area really yeah um uh, we before we do that we found a note yeah we found something we need to bake um yeah i mean we're gonna be here for a little bit longer so it should be fine all right let's go collect rudy and then we can check out the area you found all right i agree you guys walk over to Rudy, just whipping out baking pancakes, making baking pancakes, making pancakes. That's what you gotta make baking pancakes. I imagine that's what you're doing. Making what? What? Will? What? Rudy? Ah, uh, Rudy. Oh, yeah. Your friends have come to say hello. Oh, hello, everyone. Would you like? Would you like to? Eat some waffles. I made waffles. some waffles. We could never say no to a nice baked treat. I would love some. Yeah. Talking about baking, though. 
Wonderful. Uh, how would you like to bake some paper? What? Bake some paper? We found this note. Um, Ray, why don't you explain? I mean, you're the one who investigates it. Oh. I would know. Ah, uh, that's true. We found this note. It's the kind where it's like the lemon juice was used to have a secret message. Um, and we want to see the secret Ooh. message. Okay, I'll, I'm, I'll bake it. I'll put it on a nice, uh, even temperature so that the paper doesn't burn. I just had an idea. Um, what if the wait? So, so is this is a recipe, right? No. Recipe? Be, no. No. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just a fair of knowledge. It's just you have to bake it to see the message. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a recipe, and that's why we had to bake things. Oh no, we're just baking the paper itself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just making sure that I uh, that I don't burn it. Alright. Uh, so I will use a pan uh, to warm up the paper. Alright, roll dexterity. Uh, with cooking, with cooking. Roll dexterity? Uh, dexterity based cooking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, my computer is so slow. Alright. Change the attribute to dexterity. Now, there we go. 15. You're able to... You cook it. But it cooks a bit too quickly. But luckily, you pull it out, pull it out of the pan quickly. Only like there's only a few smudges, but the but the ink is revealed. Mm. Is it a language we understand? Yes, it states. Okay. His vendetta runs deep, deeper than what's below. Beware his gaze, for you do not know. If you are reading this, I presume you're after it. I must warn you, he's coming for you too. His blank. Huh. Riptic. But there is a date and name signed at the bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Jonathan M. And it looks like it was signed about 27 years ago. Was this name on any of the things I found? No. Okay. None of the stuff you found were actually signed. Okay. Hmm. Okay, then. Quite the mysterious message, and... Yeah. It looks like we stumbled our way into a, a third mystery. Crazy. Um... Alright, does... I mean, what does... What could this mean? Uh, could potentially be a message about the Lord. Could be a message about that pirate fellow he wants the treasure of. It could be anyone. He could be a previous tenant to this place. Yeah. After all, I don't quite know how long he's lived here. All I can really say is we keep searching. I agree. So, Altair, what do you want to show us? Uh, yes. Um, follow me. Uh, and I go back upstairs into that room. Upstairs. And upstairs. It was upstairs, right? It was downstairs. Uh, the oh, that was one entrance is. Oh. Uh not this. Uh huh. I'm bringing them through the entrance I found. This one, right here. 
Where? All right. Where? More to the my... left. Left up. My roll twenty is not updated. Oh, my bad. Yeah, neither is mine. I forgot to bring you guys over here. There no, we are. I just refreshed my thing, thinking, "Hey, it's coming on my side." So yeah, we're okay. over here. Yeah. So I bring you guys all over here. Uh, I'm pull. I pull the horn. Right. Once again, the mechanism activates, and it and the door is revealed. Ooh. Dude, it's um, I'll go down first, unless you guys want to. Uh, I'm good. I'll follow your lead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's perfectly safe from my experience. I mean, except for uh, against your own stupidity. <laughs> you make it downstairs into what seems to be like a dungeon. Right here, it's near to the bottom. <laughs> I just teleported to the exit. Uh, I'm just that good. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was in the wrong loading zone. Oh. Uh, okay. And... Alright. It's a dark stone brick dungeon with the faint sound of magma. What? Yeah, my mom. Alright. Okay, uh, follow me. It was my mom. Alright. Huh? Um, yeah. I go into this room, and I'm like, okay, so here is where I, uh, burned off my palms uh there was a magic amplifier in the middle of it uh but i burned my palms and uh it fell into the lava if i could i would love oh. to get it back out but i don't really have a way to get it out uh i do not i, I don't really have anything that i can grab with so uh goodbye Why to was there. why was your first instinct upon seeing a magic item just oh i'm gonna touch it it wasn't. I uh, actually recognized it as a amplifier before I touched it. I touched it because it was an amplifier. Um, though, to be fair, I probably would have done that anyways just to try and figure out what it does. Alright, then. You ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> Curiosity, and we all I'm know just, Curiosity killed the cat. I'm just saying, I'll tear your track record for recognizing magical items isn't fantastic. That one I rolled high on. <laughs> rolled? What do you mean rolled high? That wasn't in character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, let's see. There is one way I could potentially grab it. However, that would include hurting myself. Let's not. And wasting, uh, oh, hurting myself for two rounds in a row, and also wasting my only two spell points. <laughs> yeah, that's not necessarily a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Ah, uh, well, in that case, instead, let's head on, shall we? Yeah. Uh, yes. Um. I'm just gonna bypass that that uh, this room. I didn't, yeah. I didn't I'd think like there was to look at that room actually. It's all right. Roll an investigation check. All right. What's my investigation again? Plus one. <laughs> okay. Let's see. A twenty. Unnatural. 20. A dirty twenty. Ooh. You notice really nothing other than the stone bricks themselves have formed into a uh, almost round uh, block. Hmm. Like the quarter of a wheel of cheese. 
So it doesn't lead anywhere. No. Not to your knowledge. Could I poke about? Is it like any, uh... Anything hidden I could search for? Cause enough investigation. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. In that case, I'll just leave then. My astute uh, detective skills can't find it. Must be something else somewhere around here. Alright, uh. Where would you like to lead us then? Okay. Um. Past here. We have a. Uh, we have this room. Um. You walk in. Yeah, you walk into what seems to be a laboratory. Ew. This is an interesting place. I agreed. And um, the main reason I wanted to show this to you was because I saw a bunch of research books uh, on magic that I thought you would be interested in. Hmm. Ooh, I would. Uh, they're on the bookshelf right over there. All right, checking that out. Do we have like a a knowledge of what our magic types would be? Uh, like yeah, you guys know what your magic types are. I right, see. So that's like water shade stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Would that be anything on shade? Because I know water is a more well known one. Should I do an investigation check for that? Sure. Rad. I'll help out with it. Sweet. You do find uh, it in a... Oh, shit, yeah. You do find it in a book. Uh, it mm. describes Shade as the consumption magic. A magic that will consume anything and everything. Life. Life, matter, constructs, all of it. It will swallow it up whole, and it will let nothing out. A bit far off from what my magic does, but I guess as an attribute of it, it does take away life. <laughs> <laughs> does it say anything about poison or natural magic? Natural magic. Creation magic. Focusing primarily on elemental be uh, or uh, conjuring plants. It conjures physical objects, which means battle technique or not battle technique, sorry reading the actual thing I wrote. Um, it allows for the creation of plants that can last for long durations. Additionally, most um, natural types of magic are similar to one another, with its same strengths and weaknesses. Sounds pretty accurate. What about poison magic? Poison is a derivative to either beast or nature. Oh, sweet. Alright, so it's, uh... I've got yours down, but a bit off from what I've seen. Though it might just be that water has, uh, watered down the magic. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible joke. Uh, while they're looking through here, I'm gonna check back up on the contraption. Alright. Anything different? Nope, other than that it's powered down. Powered down? Correct. Did anything happen? No. Hmm. How long was I away for? A few minutes. Okay. Um. I'm going to power it back on and I want to see it power off. I'm going to wait until it powers off. It's supposed to be standing there for a few minutes down. You turn it on, and uh, you notice there's a light coming from behind you. As mm -hmm. it as it begins to spin, shooting light in several different directions, like a disco ball. But only okay. three minutes go by, and then it will, and then it slowly, but surely, loses its light. Um. Do I know why it, it stops? 
Sorry. Yawning. Uh, rule Arcana. Okay. Nat 20. Yay. It Plus is four. a way of preserving its natural uh, magical element, or m its natural magical energy. Because if you were to leave it on and keep it active, uh, it would not, it would not succeed in its intended purpose. It needs outside, outside magical force to continuously activate it. Um, and I only be think that the purpose is this um light show, right? Correct. Okay. Huh. So, uh... Anyone? What you looking at over there, Altair? Uh, there's a... There's a mechanism that was here when I... Um... That I turned on w before I left. Uh, and... So I was just checking to see if it... Was still running, if... Or if it had done anything, and it didn't do anything. So, that actually turned off. So, I turned it back on to observe why and it, it's just to maintain energy huh hmm. i'm not too uh astute when it comes to magic so i'd leave that to you if you want to check it out i do however think i see something i would be pretty good with did uh i'll tell leave the weapons on the desk yes can i go check them out Right ahead. Uh, investigation, I presume? Yep. A 20. Not natural. Mm. Impressive. It is a... V it's a very odd weapon. Hmm. It's it's a it has a crystal blade. A crystal blade? Would that do anything? Perhaps. It's uh -huh. a long sword. Oh. Would I have to roll Arcana to check the crystal? Yes, to check if it's uh, magical. Okay. Uh, let me look at my Arcana. Plus zero. Okay. So just a roll on that 20. A three. <laughs> you have no idea if it's magical or not. It could just be a very, a very pretty sword. I mean, I take it anyway. Pretty swords are very much on my alley. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So you now have three swords on you. <laughs> three <laughs> swords. Soto. I was just thinking that as well. Santoryu. Ichiro Kata. Anyway. I don't know what I said. <laughs> I could have sworn multiple times just then. Anyway. Now. What do you do? Uh, I mean, I'm going to head back over here and browse some books and leave it up to these two, because I need to be right back. Ugh. Hmm. Um, I'm yeah. oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was supposed to say, there's nothing else that really catches your eye, sadly. Uh, I'm going to go over and check out the machine with Altair. Um, how'd you activate it? Uh, there was a button, right? I don't remember how I activate. You like, just, I, out of character, yeah, don't remember how to. I just did. Uh, flick the switch. Ah. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try flipping the switch. Once again, it spins around around, shooting light in all directions. Like it's, uh... 
like it's a disco ball, and then three minutes later, it shuts down. That's really weird. Why would someone build this? This seems really pointless. Uh, my belief is that it was maybe the um, start of a project, or the midway point of a project that was just never completed. Mm, that makes sense. It seems very unfinished. Rad. Yes, indeed. Radical Roshif Rufus. Did anyone go to this door over here? Uh, I did. Uh, um, I did. It's just a staircase up. I was planning on leaving that way because I already know it goes out the other way. Oh, sweet. Uh, but there's one other thing. Uh, if you come over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, dang. Yeah. That's definitely some suspicious stuff right there. Yeah. That's why I wanted... Uh, that's the last reason I wanted to show this over over here to you. Do I recognize this, Shuen? Roll Arcana. Radical. Oh, that's great. You <laughs> have never seen it before. I've got no idea what this is. Uh, yeah, that was what th that was my um understanding as well. I took a note of it because I might be able to ask uh some other people about it later, but as of right now, it's just a mystery for us. Yeah. All right. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Uh, oh. Sean. Yeah. Would we be a? W would it still be functional? Presumably not. Okay. Never mind then. Okay. I'm gonna leave them. All right, right, I'm back. Uh. So what happened to those gone? Um, I was, I, I was showing, um, Cerulean about the, uh, ah. a thing. All right. Uh, I, mean, I, I did not well. recognize the symbol either. You know what they say, third time's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go take a look. After these two have left course. Why after we've left, of course? Because. Why not? Okay. Alright. I don't know. Nothing specific. I just add it on. Are you going to try to taste the, uh, the magic? Taste the magic? Yeah, just lick the floor. I did not know that was something I could do. Uh, I, I, oh, shit. I guess I, gave, I guess I did not give you that spell. Okay, shit. What spell? I'm confused. So, I was, uh, you know how I hold spells off from you guys to, like, for you guys to unlock later? Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I had one that Not it just called really. detect, the magic detection, and you would require you to lick a magical object for you to understand <laughs> it. <laughs> no time to lick the person. Um, Shun, we do need to, like, um, flesh out my yeah, grimoire more. I know, and I know. I have we've got, spells. We've got a lot for I have spells. It's just I don't have <laughs> your specific spell list. You do. No, I don't. I checked. I've given you access to that sheet. I'll have to refind it, I guess. Alright. Um. I mean, I would like to investigate the magic. Of course, I don't have the uh, arcana. spell tasting. Alright, Arcana... Uh, it's plus zero, plane 20. 18. You've seen this only once before. It's a teleportation circle. 
designed to teleport one way. Ha. Huh. Okay, then. Would I know what end this is on? This is on the going end. Okay. Um. Now, why couldn't it have been working? Because I would have tried to activate it then. I, thank I hope God you, know. you didn't. <laughs> no, I wish. It would have been so interesting. Okay, but now you're like, God knows how far away from us. I, I, did, I wasn't able to activate it. I said I wish I could have. Uh, Alright. Um, I'm going to go back over to the other two. Um, so, you know that magic circle back there that I presume you two were looking at? Oh, uh, yeah. Did yes, you I ever was... find out what it was? Uh, no, I was planning on trying to activate it, but it looked non-functional. I've never seen it before. Thank God you didn't. That would be a one-way portal. I've only seen one of them before. Uh, thank God I didn't step in. Do y'all want to activate it? Uh, do you think we'd be able to find our way back here? Uh, I mean... Mm. Probably. How far do you think it would take us? Cause we, I mean, we have, do we have any way of telling that? <laughs> not that I know of. All I know is that that sends us one place and it will not take us back. Ooh. I mean, we have you as eyes in the sky, thank God, but uh, if we have no boat, we have no way of getting back, and who knows how long it would take us. That is true. On the other hand, what did the note say again, Shuan? Uh, the you note know that you guys got up there? Yeah. It said something about a vendetta, someone chasing after. Someone's going to be chasing after you, or to whoever is being held, or whoever has it. And that's basically the gist of it. It mentioned hmm. something below, didn't it? Ah, yeah. Uh, I believe... I think... Was, no, it was meant for metaphor. Uh, okay, yeah. not... I was going to be like, well, it mentioned something below, so this probably is related to whatever that... No, no. That's just me being overly literal. <laughs> oh, I get it, I get it. Just like the English teachers, the door was red, symbolizing anger. <laughs> it's just a red door. Yeah. That's the door. Me okay. Doing lit analysis. Hmm. We could risk this. But we should probably at least... Uh, we should get the others if we're going to do this We whatsoever. should get the others, I or at least let someone know we're going to teleport some random place from the basement. I did identify it as non-functional, right? Uh, currently, yes. Okay. Could we get it to because be functional, I... though, Altair? Can we get it to be functional, Shuin? Maybe. <laughs> Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Herbie. Uh... We might be able to. I don't know. Alright. Uh, I think we should get Rudy and take a vote. We should get Rudy. Uh, if anything, oh. I believe we should leave this until after we've done our quest. That's true, I suppose. If we get our money, we at least have some sort of thing. This means we'll probably have to break back in. And I don't mind a bit of a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do it actually smells absolutely horrific, but magic comes with its downsides. <laughs> All right. And on that note, I think we're going to end the session off here. All right. All right. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.